Welcome to 7 News This Week. I'm Bevan Castoon. We're taking a look at some of the most impactful stories happening in your neighborhood. Well, you and the rest of Bill's Mafia will be able to watch the team in action together as Chippewa watch parties return for the season opener. And as students return to campus, we check in with a financial expert for some tips to help you save. But first, an emotional week at Engine 2 here in the city of Buffalo as loved ones of Jason Arnault met one of Western New York's newest first responders named in honor of the fallen firefighter. Arnault, the canine, will work with a 20-year veteran of the New York State Parks Police Force. And for the first time, the widow of Arnaud is speaking with 7 News anchor reporter Leah Landau. How are you doing? We're good. We're, we're doing the best that we can given the, the circumstances and the situation, but we're, we're adjusting and we're strong and we're getting through it with the help of the community and, and everyone else. So, Yeah, how important is it to have this continued support? It's extremely important. It, it really it, it softens the blow a little bit and just, you know, having that constant reminder of people having our back and, and the city of Buffalo and their support, it's, we couldn't ask for, for anything, anything more. His memory lives on through all of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's very touching to see, you know, how many people um, he touched. You know, he meant a lot to a lot of people and um, it shows. Leah Lando, 7 News. I'm Hannah Ferreira in Buffalo, where the start of September could serve as a reminder for how you can start saving for college. Paying for college can be intimidating. Going into it, I didn't know anything, and I'm like, I still kind of don't know that much. September is College Savings Month, so I went to the University at Buffalo to speak with some freshmen who are new to the school and new to an often hefty education bill. Many told me they're grateful for their parents teaching them the importance of the dollar. My parents were very good about teaching me early to save, so I probably would have blown through a lot of money by now. This communication between parent and student is exactly what financial planner Sarah Blankenship recommends. Parents and students need to be having conversations with each other and it's time for that adult conversation of this is what this looks like and this is how it'll impact your future. According to savingforcollege.com, 54% of teens are worried about financing their future. Sarah told me a factor to consider is the type of school you are attending. I did some number crunching. A public four-year school will cost you about $10,000 a year compared to 38,000 for a private school. That's according to shorelight.com. Private school versus uh, a SUNY school. We can look at in-state versus out of state. And that's exactly what freshman Raven Barkinsdale told me she did. I picked the cheapest school that fit all my needs and it's perfect because I'm really not paying what I could be paying somewhere else. When I spoke with Sarah, she told me that students and parents should be reminded that college financial planning doesn't have to be the route that everybody takes. When I was younger, it was college or nothing. Now we see such a need for tradesmen and, and skilled workers, and so college doesn't have to be for every person. But if you decide college is in your future, Sarah's biggest piece of advice is to start saving now and it's advice Natalie Vandevoort is taking seriously. Everyone says it, like, put this much away, but, like, if you actually put that much away and, like, save a good chunk of your money, just, like, even at the end of the day, you feel better. Hannah Ferreira, 7 News, Buffalo. It's all empty. Um, it was honestly kind of like really upsetting. It's been horrible. It's been horrible for the students. Former Madai University students and teachers are saying goodbye to their school. In May, Madai's board of directors announced without warning the school would close at the end of August after Trocare College decided not to purchase the school as initially planned. When I went to clean out my office uh, and turned around and looked at it for the last time, it was as though I was losing my second home. That's former communications professor Lou Posentides. He has a deep love for the Madai community and its students after spending 22 years at the school. He tells me he worked all summer helping 92 students get into other colleges. Canisius College, many of them, over 300 graduate education students went to Niagara, which was a wonderful thing. Alfred University, uh, Trocare. Uh, some went to Trocare, 
and a villa. But the transition hasn't been a smooth process for everyone. I spoke with former Madai student Adriana Sandoval. She is now enrolled at Duville and says it's been a struggle. And I haven't even found a way to finish out my vet tech. I've been trying all summer and I might have found a way like just now, but it's still up in the air. Meantime, former student Eric Kay is now enrolled at Damon University. He too is leaving vet tech behind. There's nowhere to do vet tech and I've always tried to be a vet veterinarian ever since like middle school, like kindergarten. So it was kind of just like, gotta find something else. Madai has certainly left its imprint on the Buffalo community, educating students for 148 years. Now it's being shuttered for good. It's very sad uh, for o almost 150 years at that campus in one way or another, uh, we have been training teachers. Dr. Jeff Fonts also lost his job as chair of Madai's education department. It's the end of an era. Um, Madai was a special place and it was about people and community. But Fonts says more than 200 education students are now enrolled at Niagara University and both Fonts and Posentides are now working at Niagara. As for Madai, students tell me the campus is now being dismantled. So it was just really weird going into the Sullivan Center where I used to have dinner every night and it be completely empty. It's literally just like a skeleton of its former self. Mm -hmm. Eileen Buckley, 7 News, Buffalo. It's a game atmosphere without actually being at the game. Jay Mano, owner of Soho Buffalo, is bringing back the Bills block parties on Chippewa for a fourth season. It's Buffalo, so we, we, uh, we're a great town to party in, and, uh, and we love to, uh, to back our sports teams. And we'll have plenty of good views for people wanting to watch the game with other hometown fans. There's two screens. There's one at each end. So there's a screen here. Facing that way, there's a screen at, in, in, next to Spot Coffee facing this way. So you got perfect visuals for both ends. The first block party will be during the season opening Monday night game on September 11th. You can catch it right here on 7ABC. They wouldn't be open. You know, on a Monday night, most of these places aren't even open. So it's found business for everybody that decides to open on those nights. The full block party schedule is on your screen now. It has two games in September, two more in November, and then one in December and January. But Mano tells me don't worry about the weather because this party is on. Rain, shine, or even snow. Like I said, we're Buffalo. I mean, if you were at the game, if the game was here, and you were one of 80,000 people, you're staying if it's raining. The event will be a smoke-free environment and is open to people 21 and older. It's not a full liquor license on the street as far as what we sell, but you know, beer and wine and that on the street. General admission tickets are $10 a piece, with VIP table seating available for $200 per group of 10. I'll put a link for where to buy your tickets at WKBW.com. Derek Hyde, 7 News, Buffalo. I don't think the kids should have access to them during the school day, especially social media, things like that. I think it's completely unnecessary. Because I think my son should have the capability to be able to access his phone in case of an emergency. To have or not to have, that's the big question when it comes to cell phones in the classroom. Check out this stat. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, more than 70% of schools across the U.S. banned the use of cell phones among students. And a district 90 miles from the Queen City is doing just that. I spoke with District Superintendent David Foster of Wellsville about why he feels a ban is necessary. The students uh, would have their cell phones off during the day in the, and in lockers. Um, and then when they go home, they would uh, take them out. And a big piece of the story is also parents. I caught up with two moms who have very different opinions on cell phone bans. Here's Melanie Smith and why she thinks her 12-year-old son should be allowed to have his phone in class. Why? 
um, in case there's ever an emergency and he needed to get a hold of me and the teacher wasn't for some reason not able to be there for him or I couldn't get a hold of the teacher and I needed to get a hold of him or vice versa, he needed to get a hold of me. Um, obviously it would be in the case of an emergency and he would know the difference between an emergency and non-emergency. But mom Sydney Gall thinks otherwise, telling me adults often can't put down their cell phones so expecting kids to do it isn't realistic. Hard enough as an adult managing your cell phone usage, but to put that expectation onto a student to learn how to have that self-control and discipline, I don't think is wise. So is there a common ground here? I sat down with child psychologist Keith Klosterman, who tells me these conversations should start at home and come with guidelines. Having that conversation up front about, well, look, if you're going to bring the phone to school, here are the rules, right? Or here are the guidelines around using it. If you don't use it in a responsible manner at school, well, then you're probably not going to be able to bring it. We talked about this hot topic Friday morning on Second Cup, and here's what you had to say. Peter says students should only use their cell phones during free time, while Carrie says some classes should have phones checked in and others should let students use their phones. Kelly says these days she feels more secure knowing that her child has their phone. And Janet says she has seen teachers let students use their phones as a resource if they don't have laptops. But let's continue this conversation. Why don't you head over to my Facebook page and tell me how you feel about cell phones being banned in schools. Jordan Johnson, 7 News. This is our year of action and accountability. Buffalo School Superintendent Dr. Tanja Williams held her second state of the school's address at City Hall Friday. The superintendent fired off a number of recent successes for the district. You should know that in 2022, we graduated 79% of our children for the first time in a very long time. And Dr. Williams says improving reading rates of younger students is a major goal. By 2025, the district wants all third graders to be at proficiency levels. But there's so much more the district is working to improve. To place a high premium on safety and wellness, including anti-bullying. The district is facing a lawsuit from a family of a 12-year-old boy who died by suicide in May. The family claims he faced relentless bullying, but now the school board has approved a plan to collect data on bullying from each school. I asked the superintendent about the changes. We've been training, we've got work to do with our families to make sure that for all of us, if we see something, we say something, and there have to be some interventions that are provided immediately. Meantime, District Parent Coordinating Council President Edward Spidell tells me there's more parents can do. You also can report it online. So if you report it online, you're going to supervent the school and everybody's going to know right away and there's no secret. The superintendent also addressing the long-standing issue of suspension rates. Some reports saying they're the highest in the nation. She says that's not true and that the narrative must change. We got to start looking at our data and telling the truth. Now we got work to do, but we're not going to stand back anymore and just take, you know, statistics that are thrown out that are not true. When students return next week, they will follow new arrival and dismissal times under a three-tier bell system to deal with school bus driver shortages. Are you worried that that's going to be a big confusion where kids aren't going to be ready for that bus and knowing what time they start school? Um, no, I'm not. We've sent something out to all of our families. I will begin my slew of robocalls every single day next week. I will be encouraging principals to reach out to their specific school communities so that the parents know exactly what times. Buffalo students return for their first day next Friday. Eileen Buckley, 7 News, Buffalo.
Jumpstart your morning with Good Morning Buffalo and Good Morning America. Hey, backseat passengers. This guy What's your excuse for not buckling up? <laughs> hey, put your seatbelt on. The number one excuse? It's just a short trip. You know what else is a short trip? From the back seat to the windshield. Backseat passengers who don't buckle up are twice as likely to die in a crash as those who do. So instead of making excuses, make your life longer. Buckle up. Every trip, every seat. When migraine strikes, do you question the trade-offs of treating? Ubrelvi is another option. It works fast to eliminate migraine pain. Do not take with strong CYP3A4 inhibitors. Allergic reactions to Ubrelvi can happen. Most common side effects were nausea and sleepiness. Ask about Ubrelvi. Let me be direct. You're watching football wrong. What do you call a guy in face paint that can't get the game? A clown. Sorry, what app was it again? No, 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 just give me a second. Amateurs. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Direct TV Sports Central gives you access to every game. So you never have to compromise on game day. Uh, was that necessary? I was just illustrating the point. Access oh. NFL Sunday ticket on us. Get a $400 reward card. Okay. At LL Flooring, we've seen it all. It's a rental. It's, it's a, a remodel. remodel. It's a really bad day. Can I do this? Can you do this? We help you find your right floor at the right price. Turning indecision into your best decision. LL Flooring. Every step covered. California. Now let me welcome everybody to the wild, wild west. A state that's untouchable like Elliot Ness. Say what you say, but give me that bomb beat from Drake. Let me serenade the streets of LA. From Oakland to Sacktown, the Bay Area and back down. Cali is where they put they mag down. Give me a During the Jeep Labor Day sales event, well-qualified lessees can lease the 2024 Jeep Wrangler Willys 4xE for 369 a month. Visit Jeep.com for details. I'm Derek Hyde in Clarence. This empty building behind me is in plans to soon become the second location of popular Buffalo restaurant, Mr. Sizzles. We came up with the slogan, Buffalo since always, because that's where we're from and Buffalo is always in our hearts. So. Just three years ago, Casey Cassis and her husband decided they've had enough of bartending and wanted to open their own burger and milkshake restaurant. We used like the last little bit of money in our bank account to buy t-shirts and we're just handing them out and trying to get people really jazzed to open. Now Mr. Sizzles, a West Side staple, is expanding by adding a second location in the North Towns. There are great local restaurants, but there's also a lot of chain restaurants. And so we thought it would be really awesome if we could open up in an area that could focus more on eating locally. The new spot was the former home of a Northwest bank with a drive through which Cassis tells me makes it the perfect location for outdoor seating. The patio is less focused on the, the alcohol, which we're kind of more focused on families and like a park-like atmosphere. I don't know, I drove past it and I just, got that feeling in my heart where I, I just knew that this is where I wanted to be. I caught up with customers and workers during the Monday lunch rush. They tell me they feel it's only right to share the Mr. Sizzles experience with more people like myself. It's run by mom and pop. You know, we have that feel. It's that, it's that neighborhood, it's that Buffalo neighborhood, you know, family feel that, that what makes Buffalo, Buffalo. My neighbor told me about it. He said it was very good. All around good experience. Cassis also told me there's some new surprises coming with the new location, but she's not yet ready to share. I know that we are going to add a couple new items, but I won't tell anybody what that is because it's a secret. <laughs> Once the final clearances are approved, she hopes to open the second location by the end of this year. Derek Hyde, 7 News, Clarence. <laughs> I'm 7 News reporter Adam Campos in Tonawanda at Build a Machine Fitness, an American Ninja Warrior style gym. The gym was started by a Western New York native who served in the Marines and looked to give back to the community after his service. I got into fitness. Uh, I found uh, CrossFit. I finally made it on Ninja Warrior. I did very well. I made it to Las Vegas finals. And when I came home, I had a few people who just asked me to help them train for a Ninja Warrior themselves. And it really just blossomed into this. And I'm a big believer in being fit to be useful, um, not just you know for, for aesthetics, but to actually use your body. 
here we build machines. You're not gonna, the only machine you might find is a rowing machine. Besides that, everything you gotta lift with your weight or use your body weight, and that's the whole philosophy. We basically have plans to just try to cultivate some of these um, alternative communities. So like tricking is very, very rare. It's very difficult to find a community for that. Um, parkour, the same exact way. And uh, you know, we want people to feel like they can get flexibility, mobility, strength, like endurance, speed, um, kind of a little bit of everything in one place. I was looking for ninja gyms in the area because my boys just absolutely loved the show and wanted to get into it and found this place and the first moment we walked in it felt like home. I can finally tell them yes, like okay don't do that, don't do that. Here it's always yes, go ahead, do it, try it and I've been able to do it too and it's fun. It's like being a big kid on a playground and uh, we do the fitness downstairs too so while the boys are up here playing we can be downstairs getting our workout in and it's just a big family experience. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun because it's, it's kind of hard finding gyms like these around your area because there's not, there's not many places like these. An entire family generation here that I can work with and have fun. Work on stuff if we want to. It's just a lot of fun. Having three generations is just incredible to watch the kids grow up, to see the similarities between the family members, but then also to see them cultivate better relationships between themselves and to just grow together. It is, it's really kind of indescribable. You kind of have to just see it, experience it for yourself. But um, yeah, who wouldn't want to be able to train with all their family members and their favorite people? If you want to come give the gym a try, there's free run Fridays every Friday from 6 to 7.30. It's for all ages, and it's $10 to get in. I'm Adam Campos in Tonawanda. 7 News. Mark your calendars for April 8th. The 2024 solar eclipse will sure be on your bucket list of things to do in the new year. We're looking forward to sort of being able to provide a safe, uh, environment for everybody coming uh, to enjoy this once in a lifetime event. Angela Birdie with the New York State Office of Parks, Rec and Historic Preservation says that they've been hearing requests for camping, which is pretty early for parks in Western New York, but they're willing to make it happen. We are never open that early and, you know, in Western New York, we could have snow. We don't know, you know, and so it's um, it was kind of like, do we open campgrounds? Um, but Governor Hochul um, acknowledges what a big deal this is. And so she allowed us to open early, uh, which is great because within 24 hours of opening our campgrounds back on July 4th, we were at about 30 or 40% full. And right now, Bertie says that they are at about 75% full. They're also part of a statewide task force put together by Governor Kathy Hochul. And we started meeting last year to sort of look at all of the issues. This is a homeland security issue. This is a tourism opportunity. Um, so all these people have been around the table now for over a year um, talking about how to, to not only take advantage of this opportunity, but to really sort of make sure everyone stays safe and enjoys it. Bevan Casahoon, 7 News, Buffalo. And done. Can we just call my dad now? Oh. Ah! <laughs> Gorilla Glue. Of course. Gorilla Glue is incredibly strong and versatile, even outdoors, <laughs> for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. Teens have drama. One more minute. Braces add more drama. Oh, how does anyone do this? Invisalign is better oral hygiene and no drama. This league is a sisterhood. It's way more than just a game. It's an empire. A fearless empire. More side swiping steals. Check. We got hoops, drive, and passion. Easy. More buckets, extra sauce, order up. More dimension defying dimes, more dancing than a Saturday night. Now this is what I call prime time. You see that? Only through Monday. Get up to 35% off everything at Raymore and Flanagan's Labor Day Weekend Super Sale. We've added new sale items for this weekend only with deeper savings throughout the store. Get the perfect pieces for every room in your home at up to 35% off. Save on top mattress brands too and sleep better tomorrow night. Or pay later with financing with no interest for 72 months. Save up to 35% store-wide. Only through Monday at Raymore and Flanagan. You know, if you were cash back and you could earn on everything with just one card, 
Chase Freedom Unlimited. So if you're off the rackin' or crab cracking, you're cash backing. Cash back on flapjacks, baby backs, or tacos at the Taco Shack. Nah, I'm working on my six pack. Switch to a king suite. Or book a silent retreat. Silent retreat? Oh, hold up. Yeah, I can't talk right now. I'm at a silent retreat. Cash back on everything you buy with Chase Freedom Unlimited with no annual fee. How do you cash back? Chase, make more of what's yours. Basketball may be a sport some do for fun. But for 13-year-old Gordon Dan, playing basketball is a lot more than dribbling and shooting the ball. He needs to be a leader and, um, you know, be competitive. Dan is just one of nine players on the Buffalo Strong team competing across New York State in tournaments. For player Jared Sater, basketball means following in his older brother's footsteps. It makes me feel like my older brother, that's because that's what he used to do when, I was, when he was younger. All while keeping fun front of mind. I like this sport because it's fun and fun to watch too and fun, fun when I'm playing it. For head coach Deja Clark, coaching means ensuring the kids on the team stay on the right track. Big brother program, big brother, big sister like mentor, as well as basketball. Making sure the kids have a support system, just like she did when she was a teen. Uh, coach Mack, she was a big impact on my life because I was failing school, um, in and out of trouble. So I just had someone I could look up to, an outlet, which was basketball. So through that, um, working in the schools, I, I find a lot of kids that are emotionally distressed, physically stressed. So it's like an outlet for them. Seventh graders on Clark's team will be competing in a three-on-three -three tournament on Saturday at Trinidad Park as part of MonkFest, an event aimed at unifying the community. You can find out how to sign up on WKBW.com. Jordan Johnson, 7 News. That's it for 7 News this week. Remember, you can always catch us on our WKBW app as well as your favorite streaming device. Until next time, have a great weekend.